Hey guys, welcome to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone walkthrough episode 13. Last episode we um, got into the Forbidden Corridor and we are going to go see what's making the growling noises. Uh, and yeah. So from this chest here, you're, there's going to be two chocolate frogs and a uh, wizard card. So now we're going to take a look at that wizard card. This guy here, Roderick Plumpton, 1889 to 1987, seeker for England's Quidditch team, holds British record for fastest fastest capture of a snitch during game, three and a half seconds. Okay, so we're up to 24 out of the 25 wizard cards now, only one remains, and if we go to this last page we can see to unlock this secret wizard card, collect 24 wizard cards and 250 birdie bots beans, then defeat, defeat he who must not be named. Okay, so uh, that uh, we got 24 wizard cards now. This way, Harry. And we got 250 beans, so all we have to do is defeat he who must not be named. And we can get that last wizard card. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. I'll try the flute. That might put Fluffy to sleep for a while. Do be careful. So you're just going to press the left mouse button to play the flute. And for this battle, what you're going to want to do is put the dog... T there, you have to put all three heads to sleep, and you're going to want to put the head that takes the longest to get to sleep. You're going to want to make that one sleep first, uh, so that the other one's don't wake up. So you can see on the bottom it's going to go pretty fast. Uh, you can see how long it takes on the bottom. So the other one is already waking up. Has already woken up. So this one's taking a while. So, so that one's asleep now. So now we're going to go do the center one. When they raise their head, that means they're going to try and attack you, so be careful for that. So now that one's to sleep, and get this last one. And that's going to put the whole dog to sleep. You want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry. Whoa! Ah! I know what this is. It's the devil's snare. Snare. Next time, I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. So what we gotta do for this battle is just incendio all these plants until it gives the option to incendio uh, Ron or Hermione and you're just going to keep doing that until they're out of the plant so now Hermione's done since she's all the way at the bottom so now come to this side and attack Ron or not attack him, try and save him. Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. You have to catch the key, Harry. 
Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Up. Good luck, Harry. Okay, so this is going to be exactly like Quidditch, except instead of getting a golden snitch, you're trying to get uh, a key. So just follow it like you would for playing Quidditch. gonna go all over the place so it can be kind of difficult so I just keep following it okay so we almost caught it so the same thing as in Quidditch there we go press the jump key when it gets close and we got it now. Well done, Harry. Let's see what this means. Probably gonna have to cut some of that out because that took way longer than it should have. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Okay, so we got to play a giant game of wizard's chess now. So first we're gonna come over here to the save book. And over here... Oh, Ron, are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces. But I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. Okay, so for this part, you're just going to try and avoid all the chess pieces. So, they're all going to move one square at a time, like Hermione said. Uh... So now, you can just move wherever, and now they're going to battle each other, and those two are going to battle each other now. So if we move right here, Then these two are going to be right here, but we're going to want to move away from them so they can attack us. That one's going to move like that, and then these two will battle. And that's all of them. Come on, let's go. So now we've got to go up this staircase. I got a save book over here. And in here. Oh no! The exit is blocked by magical fire. Looks like you have to choose the right potion. Be careful, Harry. It could be poison. This one looks like it will help us through the fire. Watch closely and keep your eye on the correct potion. Then choose wisely. So you're just going to have to watch the potion as it moves through this puzzle. And then. That was the wrong I don't one. Think I, that one. I didn't. Well, then I could be wrong. I did not mean to choose this one. Probably gonna kill me. <sighs> oh no! <coughs> yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so it's this one right here. So you're just going to make sure the, the sparkles are on the one that you want to choose. Here it goes again. And then it's going to go again. Okay, so now I believe it's in the corner here. Put your sparkle on it again. It's even faster this time. 
Okay, now it's on the other side, so come over here, have your sparkles on it, and it'll go again. That's really confusing. Okay, so back in this corner now. And I believe one more time we have to do this. Now, that's ridiculous. Okay, so pretty sure it's in this corner right here. Nintendo. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. Stay on your own. I'll go back and help Ron. Good luck, Harry. Okay, so now, since we have this potion, we're able to go through this magical fire. And over here we got a chest, so we'll go see what's in here. Got a chocolate frog. Okay, so we see Quirrell go into there, so maybe it's not Snape that we're looking for. So we're just going to jump over these platforms. And into the door that Quirrell went through. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Okay, so for this fight, what you gotta do is we're gonna we're trying to get up to him. So you're just going to flipendo these blocks. First, the big one, and. He'll be flipendoing them away, like there, so he's not going to do that too much. This part of the fight is pretty easy, so just bring the block all the way over here, okay, all the way down. So now we're going to take a smaller block since we can't just jump up to the bigger one. So, no, I don't want to climb up there. Stupid quirrel. Okay, let's try this again. And he's going to start shooting these green spells at you after, and those are going to cause damage, so watch out for those. Sometimes the blocks will defend it, and sometimes they won't. No, don't climb up. I'm gonna go grab this chocolate frog over here since we're getting kind of low on health. And I think we're too close now, so we can't shoot spells at us, and not if we climb up. Okay, climb up here now. No. All the way up top. Cassis Potter, you will not succeed again. Okay, so now we got four chocolate frogs. Grab all these four. And we got a save book. So next time on Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh we're gonna go face the final boss, so we're already almost done the game. So grab this save book here, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.